here we are again um, it's about lunchtime I've come up to see how the tarps aired out it has been raining so there was quite a bit of water collected on them so I've cut them up um, and selected some of what I think are the best pieces what I might do now is I might lay the piece um, as a ground sheet on the bit that I think will make the best shelter area Coming up at this time, I think this is definitely probably the best area that I've chosen because it's still in the shade and it's midday and it's about 28, 30 degrees. It's sweltering. It is the summer. Um, but also I've got that, that wall as a shelter, so it's just going to be that area along there. Um, and you can see I've got some of the tarps already lying out over there. So I'm going to lay a piece over there uh, and flatten that ground out overnight. Uh, there's some stingy nettles and stuff. So one thing about the summer, um, underneath those tarps when I lifted them up, the hot air underneath that tarp, wow, it was phenomenal. Um, so I don't think staying warm is going to be a problem but I think stay, trying to stay cool might be certainly during the day maybe at night time it will cool off a bit but anyway let's get that other piece uh, laid out on the ground I was going to try one of the smaller pieces to flatten this bit out but um, it is quite small so I'm going to flip this other piece round again and try this piece because this is the piece that's kind of most grubby underneath. Although the top looks grubby, it's mostly just from the stuff that gathered as it lay there overnight. At least I just try to start with a bigger piece so I can get an idea of the space. You know the size to aim for. Yeah, definitely think we need the big piece. That wee piece would have been too wee. I need to find a couple of wee sticks. I'm going to try and peg this up right against the back of this wall here. So, I'll bring you back once I've flattened this out a bit. So, there we go. Managed to, I've just been kind of tramping it down to flatten it out a bit. And um, please don't worry that it's doing any damage to this environment because, um, you know, we've laid loads of tarp in this garden before to try and kill some of the weeds. And year on year on year, everything just grows like wildfire. Um, especially in the summer, everything's totally overgrown. So whatever's been flattened down by me putting that tap on it, it'll bounce back, sure as fate, next spring, the minute I lift that tarp up. Um, I couldn't get right back up against the wall because there's a bit of the wall that kind of juts out. And also, I know that I said that wall was a good shelter, which I think it will be. But I don't really want to sleep next to that wall, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so. 
So I might use another bit of the tarp to cover that up. Yeah, so the other thing I need to think about is where I would put a ridge line. So, because I've got this tree here that I can tie off. Uh, but my other option is the big pine tree, which is quite far away. Um, so I'm not sure if I've got a lot of cordage. I don't want to tie off onto any of the fencing because the fencing's not really that secure. Um, I could secure things somehow to the wall, but I'm not really sure or aware of any real techniques to do that so maybe some guys will give me some hints on that but yeah I think that's a good start again it's absolutely sweltering um, and I think overnight as well that will flatten out a bit more um, what my hope is to try and get some dead fallen wood um, just to try and create a wee bit of a raised bed so that I'm not lying on the tarp with all the bugs and the spiders as I've already mentioned before so I think that's mostly it for today and I'll bring you back soon